what is the cause of all these division and the destruction of this planet? It is simply because man wants total autonomy from God. He does not believe in any creator or being higher than himself. He thinks he has the answer to everything. He believes that science and technology is the answer to the development of this world. How often he fails to realize that science and technology could very well be the means, the weapons, to destroy this entire planet as well. And this is all because man has made himself the center of the universe, the center of creation. In eating the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden, it is but a symbol of man's rebellion against God. Instead of being a servant of creation, to be the stewards of God's creation, to develop creation, to help creation to reach its potential, man now abuse creation. We are destroying creation simply because of man's selfish needs. Regardless of the future of this planet or the future of humanity. Man has forgotten that he is part of creation. We are created from the dust of the earth. The moment when man alienates himself from the rest of creation, this is where the disorder begins. Not only have we alienated ourselves from creation. We have alienated ourselves from ourselves. When man cuts off God from his life, he has become so confused about his identity. Man is fragile. Man is weak. Man refuses to recognize his finitude. The real nakedness is not a physical nakedness. It's the nakedness of our soul. Man knew that his conscience has been compromised. And so man was trying to hide his conscience from God because he has committed a sin. We try to rationalize, we try to justify what we do because we are ashamed of what we are doing. We know what we are doing is not right. But we need to find justification. And that is what the world is doing today. Relativism is trying to justify everything that people do. We can try to justify ourselves. You can try to justify your actions. But deep in your heart, you know the answer. Search your heart. You can try to numb your conscience. But when you are confronted with the depth of your conscience, you will know what is the right thing to do. Man is not only separated from God. Now man is separated also from woman. Before the fall, we are told the woman is supposed to be the man's helpmate. Equal in dignity, different in roles. But after the fall, we are told now it is the man who named the woman Eve. To name someone means to have authority. Woman now is being under the control of man. No more his equal. Man want to seek dominance over the woman. Woman is now being made use of. She is now seen in a functional way just to produce children and often sexually abused and made use of instead of being loved. And finally, we are told man after being separated from God, now he's afraid of death. The human being is trying to find a way to escape death. We cannot. Death shows that we are finite. And where do we go? Do you know? Are you going to disappear from the face of this world? Our life continues. We are called to be in communion with God, communion with one another. 
by sacrificing ourselves, by dying to ourselves for the service of others. It is in giving ourselves to the service of others. It is in loving that we bring about true communion among ourselves and with God.